Hi everyone. Today we are going to solve the problem called as the longest substring with k distinct characters. It is also based on the sliding window approach, but this is a medium level problem. So let's read the problem statement. So the problem states that given a string, find the length of the longest substring in it with no more than k distinct characters. So this is the important part. Longest substring with no more than k distinct characters. Let's see what they want us to know with the help of example. So suppose the string is a r double a c i and k is equal to two. Here k means that within the substring there must be only two distinct characters. Now, mm, uh, how many substrings you can form? See, a r is the uh, substring where uh, there are only two distinct characters and its length is two. Also, a r e is the substring uh, whose uh, let me show you some substrings as here. Here substrings are like a r is a substring. Also, a r a is a substring. Also, a r a a is a substring. Also, a r a a c is it a substring? Uh, it no, it is not a substring. It is not a substring. Why? Because here there are three distinct characters. That is a r and c. Also, r a a c is a substring, right? Uh, but is it a right substring? No, because there are three distinct characters. Also, a a c i is a a a c i is a substring. But is also not a valid substring because there are three distinct characters. Also, a a c is a substring. Again, a c i is a substring with three distinct characters. So there can be those many substrings. Now, what we want to know is that uh, the length of the longest substring which has only k distinct characters. So in this string, there is only one substring that is a r double a, which has a length of four and uh, it has only two distinct characters that is a and r so the output here will be 4 because we have to give the length of the longest substring again let's see example 1 or uh, example 2 again the same string with k is equal to 1 so here the answer will be double a as it has only one distinct character that is a but the length of that substring is 2 so we output 2 now again example 3 here and k is equal to 3 here the output is 5 uh, I leave it up to you to get the explanation. I hope that will be clear. Now, how can we solve? So, let's start with the brute force approach. So, what can be the brute force approach here? First, the question asks about the substring. So, we can first generate the substrings. So, for a string of length n, we know that there are n c2 or n into n plus 1 by 2 substrings uh, possible. So, that is basically taking an O of n square time to generate the substrings only. And for each substring, we can check if there is unique or not. So, that will uh, take like O of n time. So, totally we will have O of n cube of time, right? So, the, the brute force approach is as follows here. For length of string n, there are n into n plus 1 by 2 possible substrings. Hence, we can generate all possible substring and check for k unique characters, right? So this approach will take O of n square time for generating the substrings and O of n time for checking. So overall it will go to O of n cube. So it is very bad. So can we improve a bit? So another thing which can we do is we can use a hash map here. Because we for each substring can generate a hash table or a set and count the unique characters that would improve the complexity of O of n square. That will be approximately to that but that won't be any effect. So can we improve it any further? Maybe linear time. So let's get to the optimization phase. Now, if you have any ideas, mm, I want you to think of it, write it on paper and now uh, or I want you to pause the video and think of it. Now, let's move to the optimization phase. Now, I hope that you might have, have some idea or let's see the solution or optimization. Now, the observations first, what can we observe? Whenever we read the problem, there might be some observations now from on, now on, you must be able to get some observations from the problem itself based on the pattern which you have seen till now. Now, uh, since here they ask about substring or sublist, uh, so we have one pattern here that is whenever there are questions like substring, sublist or contiguous subarrays, so that time we can use some sliding window approach, right? So, uh, so here we can think of it as like we, there is a possibility that we can use the sliding window approach, right? Also, now another thing we can see is that uh, as the previous example which we solved about the smallest subarray with the given some problem, there also the uh, what you can say the size of the window was not fixed, right? So even here the we don't have any size of the window, so we need to create dynamic windows. So also as we need to create dynamic windows, uh, so there is also the phase of the shrinking phase is involved where from the generated window we go on removing the characters and uh, we try to add more characters where we generate the new windows, new window sizes you can say. 
so that problem will be similar to the uh, so this problem is similar to the previously solved problem only with an added optimization or added constraint that we are going to integrate hash map with it so we'll see how you are going to add add this it is very much simple let's see what we are going to do is we are going to insert characters into the hash map until we get the distinct count of characters equal to k so what this means is like in the last uh, problem we are going on adding the uh, characters into the our uh, list or we can see the window uh, based on their given constraint now here the constraint is based on the k unique characters so since we have to uh, uh, the quality of to check on the uniqueness we shall count the occurrence we shall count the keys in the hash map so until my keys in the hash map become equal to k so i will go on adding the character so this will be my initial length or the initial sliding window right and uh, that will be my initial sliding window and the length of that sliding window will be my uh, initial maximum length you can say now we shall follow the same two step approach which we used now what we shall do we shall go and remove the characters from the start of the window uh, until my distinct character count becomes less than k right so because even if you are going to remove like there is a string called a a r a right even if you are going to remove the string a or uh, the character a from it still there will be the substring a r a it will still have the count of k distinct characters that is uh, count of distinct characters will be 3 so what we are going to do we are going to remove the elements from the start of the window until our distinct count becomes less than k also one thing you should notice that if the frequency of element becomes 0 there we shall remove that element from the map now we shall go on adding the characters onto the our new window uh, or you can say you can slide our window and we shall repeat this step with this you will get the new window lens and of all the window lens we shall take the maximum so uh, i shall show you the visualization with this uh, it will become more clear but let's keep an algorithm in mind that is first we shall enter the keys into our hash map until our uh, the that is distinct count becomes k and once it becomes k we shall go on removing from the start and uh, we shall go on adding elements on the front right and uh, during that we shall also calculate the maximum so let's see how you can uh, visualize this so this is the question of visualization suppose our string is our example one a r double a c i so this is our string given and this is the window start and this is the window end here and my k is equal to 2 what am i and currently my maximum length is 0 right now currently i add this element into my uh, window uh, so a element is added so right now my dictionary will have or hash map will have the uh, alphabet a and its occurrence as 1 and right now my count of distinct characters is nothing but a number of keys present here so that will be 1 and my length will be nothing but the end minus start plus 1 that is 0 minus mm, 0 plus 1 that is length will be 1 now again i go on adding the another element that is a r so again uh, my dictionary will look like occurrence of a is 1 occurrence of r is 1 and my count of distinct character is 2 and my new length found is 2 again i shall go on adding here because we shall go on adding until our uh, count of distinct characters is uh, it becomes greater than k right so now again i shall go on adding here uh, one more a then my length will become 3 uh, see you can also see that how i am calculating the length it is like window start minus window end minus uh, plus 1 or window end minus window st uh, window start plus one or also you can see that the length can be also taken from the summation of all the uh, values of the keys like one plus one is two so your new length is two uh, now i shall go on adding here after this step you can see that my occurrences of a is three occurrences of r is one now if i add one more character that is c here my occurrence of c will become three my k will become three because now distinct characters will be three that is a r and c and my new length will be four here uh, because from here to here my new length will be 4 three, sorry my new length will be actually 5 here but I won't be considering this because it is for k equal to 3 uh, right but I want a length only for k equal to uh, this k equal to uh, 2 right and uh, for the previous step if you will see here for this case uh, wait let me copy it here and I shall paste it here right uh, see here for this previous case here when I was not having c here my count of a was 3 uh, my k were equal to 2 and my new length was here uh, my new length was here 4 right so this was my uh, till now up till now my maximum length here now since my number of distinct characters were greater than 2 or you can say k now we shall move to our shrinking phase in this we shall get our new windows now first i shall remove my one more a so my count will become 2 but my but still k is equal to 3 and my new length is also 3 so distinct characters are also 3 yet so we are not moving out of that 
see again number of characters are greater than the k so again we shall string the windows now again i shall remove one more character so r will become zero so that we shall remove it now a will be two and c will be one right now my k is equal to two yes we have got our, our new window that is a a and c but its new length is three which is less than the maximum length so we won't update it again so uh, since our k is equal to two so again we shall go on to the adding phase here now once we go to the adding phase we shall add one more character i so again my k becomes three and new length becomes four but since my k is equal to uh, three uh, i won't be updating my length also my new length is also equal to maximum length so there is no need to update now again my uh, characters become greater than two or greater than k the distinct characters so again i shall move on to the shrinking phase i shall remove one character here a again i shall remove another character here a so with this i will left with only two unique characters c and i and k is equal to 2 yes so this length this is the length i want with me so i shall take the new length with me that is 2 but since it is less than the maximum length i won't update it so here this is the visualization uh, so let me just re uh, recap you with the algorithm what we are doing is we are first adding the elements into the hash map until the distinct count becomes greater than k right and uh, until the distinct count becomes greater than k once it becomes greater than k what we are going we are going to remove the elements from the start and we are going to count uh, uh, going to remove the elements from the start until my count becomes less than k right until my count becomes less than k and finally uh, we shall calculate the maximum length possible so if you want to solve this problem here is the link now i shall share the solution with you but before that i wanted to solve the problem here on lit code it was on the premium section i guess so i took the li uh, link from where it was available free so uh, you need an account here and you can solve this problem now let's move on to the solution i hope you have solved the problem so let's get started with the solution so this is the function which we have to find here s is the string and k is the value so with this it will become finally absolutely clear what we are trying to say so first i will do my window start this will indicate where I'm from where my window is starting and this is my frequency and this is my maximum length right now for uh, i will iterate over the string now first i will see if my this generated character or my current character is in the hash map or not right so if it is not in the hash map i shall uh, initialize it and, and then i shall increment uh, the count of it finally if it is in the hash map i shall directly increment the count if it is not in the hash map i shall first initialize it here and then i shall inc increment the count this is the shrinking process what i will see if my distant characters have gone bigger than the k right if my distant characters have gone greater than the k what I, what i am doing is i i am first uh, reducing the count uh, reducing the count of that character if that count becomes zero then i am deleting it and i am sliding my window to the next character right mm. so this is the basic phase i am doing here what i am doing here is i shall first uh, reducing the count of the character if it becomes zero then i am deleting the character and finally i am sliding my window and after that i am just calculating the maximum length as we did here the only difference you have to uh, you can see here is that maximum length i am calculating at the end because uh, see suppose here i am adding one character and yet my length is not uh, yet my number of characters out of this loop when i am out of this for loop uh, i am in the condition where my uh, distinct characters will be less than or equal to k right where my distinct characters will be less than or equal to k uh, less than or equal to k so i am calculating my maximum length here but if you look at the previous solution that is of the last problem here you can see that my length calculation was inside here because that was the need of that problem uh, so i want to, to just watch the two problems and this here solution of the previous problem in the previous video and the solution of the current problem this and i want you to write in the comment section that uh, why the length was maximum why the maximum length was calculated here out of this while loop and why the maximum length was calculated within this while loop you can say here this actually it was the minimum length so just i want you to write in the comments your observations and let me know so this was all about the problem here about the longest substring problem i hope you like this problem uh, do share your comments uh, in the comment section do like this video and also subscribe to the channel for more future videos thank you